ladies and gentlemen, the fact that uh, this is the International Women's Day is explaining why three men are addressing this uh, audience. And as far as I can see, it will not change in the next four years, unless Turkey would appoint a woman as prime minister. We had once. You, you had once, <laughs> but now you have, they have you. <laughs> what, um, who is respecting to women everywhere? I am representing a nation who are protecting women from Syria and uh, all victims, girls, children, and women. So we are proud of that. We will do everything to protect dignity of women everywhere in the world. In fact, I didn't want to give you the floor. <laughs> we have uh, reached an agreement in principle uh, with the Prime Minister that uh, Turkey will admit quickly all irregular migrants who do not qualify for international protection who arrive in Greece. Turkey will thus de facto anticipate the entry into force of the EU-Turkey readmission agreement. We also agreed that Turkey will readmit uh, Syrian nationals returned from the Greek islands under the logic that they can apply for asylum in Turkey and under the understanding that for every Syrian who admitted, one will be resettled to the European Union directly from Turkey. This is a real game changer. And this is a good deal because it's beneficial in more than one respect. By doing what we are intending to do, we'll break the business model of smugglers, exploiting human misery, and make clear that the only viable way to come to Europe is through legal channels. There will be no longer an incentive for Syrians to pay criminals to smuggle them across the Aegean. Doing so will not only land you back in Turkey, but will put you on the bottom of the list for resettlement. Resettlement directly from Turkey is precisely the objective of our work for months. And it will relieve some of the pressure from Greece, helping to address the humanitarian crisis that is quickly developing. What we agreed upon in principle is a good option and it is legally feasible but it needs more discussion on how concretely to organize the resettlement. We does agree on the principles, and the European Council will finalize the details in 10 days from now. Meanwhile, to ensure that Syrian refugees can benefit from decent conditions in Turkey, the newly created facility for refugees in Turkey is already starting to finance the first projects. The Commission has unlocked uh, 95 million to help provide access for education for Syrian children in Turkey and provide for food. The initial 3 billion put into the fund will need to be supplemented after 2018. Last Friday, we adopted as a Commission a, another report on the progress concerning visa liberalization. We decided today to accelerate this uh, uh, visa liberalization. It will be done, but without changing the standards and the benchmarks uh, we agreed uh, upon. Part of the European solution is restoring in a concerted manner the normal functioning of the Schengen uh, area, with full support for member states which face difficult circumstances. I'm happy that the leaders did back the uh, communication of the Commission concerning the back to Schengen roadmap. That's important because it's clearly demonstrating our willingness to ensure that internal borders will be lifted at the latest by the end of this uh, year. We made it clear that unilateral actions provide no solutions. We cannot leave countries of the first entry alone. Greece needs our solidarity more than ever in order to attack the human humanitarian crisis. I'm making reference to the humanitarian package the Commission adopted uh, a few days ago, 700 millions for, uh, for Greece. 
it is clear that we have to accelerate relocation. Relocation is a matter of solidarity or responsibility sharing between European partners. This is the moment for relocation to be fully operational. It is more important than ever. Thank you. Thank you, President. I now open the floor for questions, and we start with the lady. The lady